What's up? Why don't you? What do you want? I want to see Vito. He don't take visitors. <laughs> Yo, he's clean, Mr. V. Give him some air. Well, I'm waiting. I'm looking for my brother, Cody Travers. Have you seen him? You come busting into my joint? Just ask me that. <laughs> yeah. Get him the hell out of here. The bastard packs a punch. Cash. Oh. 
what you got? <laughs> Little bricks got mugs in. Fuck the best. <laughs> Pretty boy knows how to use his hands. Fuck the bastard packs a punch. Horse him out back with the run spoon on me. We killed ten guys like you before lunch. Fuck the best makes a punch. Your kind ain't welcome here, punk. Take a powder. I said forget about it. The guy with the table manners is Vito Bracca, the boss of bosses here in Little Italy. He's old school, still gives a shit about things like honor and respect, but he'll crack your head open with a baseball bat if you step out of line. Vito fears only two things, God and running out of linguine. Only two kind of skill show come into my joint uninvited. Both of them is dead men. Is Cody Travers fighting for you? Maybe he is, maybe he ain't. You some kind of dick. Me? Cop? No, I'm his brother. Ah, family. Why didn't you say so? We know all about family around here. Don't we, boys? Good. Then you'll help me. No. Vito, I'll make you a deal. Tell me what you know and I'll fight in your club. And why should I do this kind of thing for use? Huh, that's funny. The last guy that tried to stop me from finding my bro threw him off a building. He ain't stopping shit now. Hey, you should introduce yourself as the man what I stuff stiff. You'd find a certain level of gratitude extended to you. Uh, I'm not interested in your gratitude. But you should be. With gratitude comes respect. And if you want mine, you gotta earn it. A man what puts the stiff in a meat wagon's got talent. I'll give you that. But I insist my fighters go through a little interview first. Now why don't you and my associate take things downstairs and make it real proper life? Just get 
been warmed up. Man was nothing, Vito. Now, you ready to answer some questions? So you plucked a daisy here. Your disrespect is what concerns me. Find the door. That wasn't the deal. You owe me. I don't owe nobody nothing. Show this bum the way out. Why, you yellow belly leg? Hey, where's Cody? Come on, Mr. V. Let me take this one in the back room and have a little fun. <laughs> the psycho with the knife is Dino, better known as Blades. He's your typical boy next door, you know. The kind you always hear about when they find the bodies of 27 old ladies stuffed in the floorboards. He's real tight with Vito. Vito don't put a hit out on a man unless it's Dino's blade that's sticking out of his back. We well, got too much heat on us already. Just take him back to whatever rock he crawled out from under. Trust me, one day real soon, you're gonna be my little plum. I'm gonna pluck out those pretty blue eyes with an ice pick. The hell with next time. Let's go now. Don't be so eager to die. It'll happen soon enough. <laughs> Good news. No, not exactly. Looks like I'm back to square one. You got any ideas? Well, yeah, I got one, but you're not gonna like it. I'm listening. Madame Celeste. The damn psychic by the porn theater? Vanessa, you gotta be kidding me. Kyle, it can't hurt, can it? Seems like you got nothing else to go on. All right, all right. Well, what the hell?
Think you could teach me how to fight? Much better. Money. What the hell happened back there? All right, if you get in, call me. Cody, where the hell are you, man? I've been looking all over Metro for you. Ah. Uh. Just info to, uh, this time. Got that, too? Pure District. Where's Pure 15? Mike Haggard's crib? Turn right out the subway, my man. Look for a big-ass fence. Sure you don't need a piece? I don't think so. But thanks. Whatever, my man. Tell you what. I'll roll out on the pier myself, in case you need me. See you yourself. None of your business, <laughs>
I do. City. Back in the day, you did not mess with this city without messing with the man. It must have made him sick to see what a shithole this place has become. But I guess it's nothing he won't try to fix someday with his fists. Hey, my brother's Cody Travers. Kyle! Christ, last time I saw you, you were nothing but a skinny legged punk. You don't remember me, do you? <laughs> Hell, not many people do these days. Look, I found this in his apartment had this address on the back and you on the front. Yeah? Now what's the rest of the story? Look, I don't know. Cody's into something, fighting for Vito. Vito? Don't tell me Cody's mixed up with that glow, too. It ain't like that. Cody's just catching fights for Vito. You better pray Cody doesn't believe that shit about glow making you strong. That stuff will kill him before it ever saves him. Look, come with me. I can show you some moves. Maybe the night won't be a total loss, huh? <sighs> yeah, not a total loss.
Show me what you got. Oh. You got it, Kaiser. Take this back to Vito, aren't you? I'm sorry. I have to. Look, I still got some friends in Metro Vice. I'll give them a ring. Maybe they know something. Thanks. I'll keep in touch. Yeah, you do that. By the way, next time you run into Vito, try showing him a little respect. He may treat you better. <laughs> 